If you were even remotely interested in fitness supplements the last couple of years, then chances are that you've bumped into the supplement known as terkesterone, an interesting insect and plant-derived hormone that shares a striking structural resemblance to the more popular hormone known as testosterone. But the molecular structures and similar sounding names are where the resemblances end. Testosterone is known to help with muscle and strength, plus other effects like helping you grow out that beautiful beard. Turcasterone, on the other hand, seems to offer none of these benefits, at least not in humans. Although, I also have yet to see any crickets looking like Jason Momoa. In short, there is simply no current evidence to suggest that turkesterone supplementation offers any fitness benefits, and all the hype it got the past few years probably boils down to heavy marketing and sounding a lot like testosterone. Now, if you are one of the unfortunate folks that bought into the hype and got yourself a bottle or a 20 of turkesterone, then I have even more unfortunate news for you. According to the findings in a new 2023 case series study, if you were to take one of your turkesterone supplement capsules, carefully open it up, pour out the contents inside, carefully put the capsule back together, and then throw it into the trash and just drink a cup of plain water, then you're getting just about the same amount of turkesterone as downing the entire turkesterone bottle. In other words, not only does turkesterone do very little for you, you're likely not even getting a lot of turkesterone in the first place. In this study, eight different turkesterone products were analyzed. And although they didn't outright name the actual brands, if you look through the database the researchers used yourself, you can narrow it down quite well by matching some characteristics. Now, I can't say for sure, of course, but it does seem to include some turkesterone brands made popular by certain, let's just say, colorful fitness influencers. But let's talk specifics. Out of the eight turkesterone products analyzed, four or 50% of them had no traceable amount of turkesterone whatsoever. And the analysis procedure used for this study can measure traces of turkesterone down to nanograms. For the other four, the highest detectable amount of turkesterone was 0.1 milligrams per serving, or just one tenth of 1% 1 of the 500 milligram extract listed on the product label. But on a positive note, no illegal substances were found in any of the products, so yay I guess. Also in fairness, the study analyzed only one sample of each brand, so we don't know for sure if this impacts every single bottle these brands distributed across the world. But considering that all eight products contain a little to no turkesterone, it's hard not to see this being a widespread issue. I gotta say, when I read this study, I was super shocked by the results that I had to double and even triple check that there weren't any typos or if I was reading things correctly. Cause it isn't exactly surprising for supplements of any kind to contain less than their label quantities, sometimes even more. But for Turk supplements, people are essentially paying a lot of money for something that is no different than mixing a teaspoon of dirt from your front yard into your protein shake. Hell, that might even be better, especially if you scooped up a worm with it. At least you're getting some extra protein. So save your money, my good friends, just cause this sounds like testosterone, it's absolutely nothing like it. Now, if you would excuse me, I gotta go pour some crushed corn kernels into little capsules, package them up, and make a small fortune selling some of that elote testosterone. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a supplemental thumbs up and share it with your poor turkesterone loving friends. Subscribe for more and let me know what you think in the comments. As always, thank you for watching and don't forget to get your protein.